welcome to my temple. <clears throat> A sanctuary where I have been hanging for the last six months. When I came here, I was on an assignment. I painted this whole house, helped build, repair, and uh, prepare it for sale. It's a beautiful sanctuary. It has allowed me the presence of mind to focus on who I am being, including that game of hoops, which is a totally zenned out, in the moment, remember to breathe game, if you want to call it that. But I, I look at it as an exercise. And so this is where I have spent most all of my time. It's my little office right here to where I just keep an eye on what's right in front of me, which is nature, birds, animals, breezes, and focusing on nothing, no thing. Discovering my own presence of mind, which I work it on keeping on cluttered and seeing what appears right before me. And this was an exercise I needed to take. I'm going to tell you a story today. But right now I'm just going to show you my sanctuary. It has beautiful gardens and I've made prior videos with my friend Madeline, my friend Gary, who both live here, who introduced me to the woman who owns the home, Melanie. And I came here and with uh, my help, we built this temple, this arbor, and some of these other surrounding gardens. Most of them were built, all of that was built, but I helped rebuild all of it. And this is the temple. I'll be coming back in a while. And I'm going to tell you a story. Good morning. <laughs> it's a overcast morning here and uh, it's a little cool. 
but I'm in the desert. <clears throat> and today I'm celebrating an anniversary. It's February 23rd, 2020. And on February 23rd, 2019, I started a journey of homelessness, which has gone through many, many variable phases. It started in Missouri, where I oh, did, uh, <laughs> I don't know what, <laughs> but I was set on a uh, journey which started with me living in my car uh, for seven weeks. And I did that in Florida. It was a little too cold in Missouri. And I moved back to Missouri after seven weeks in the car and I ended up in a uh, garage. My friend uh, Milo uh, welcomed me to stay in his a uh, big garage, which I did for four months and helped him out um, on his property. And then uh, through an ad in the Caretaker Gazette, uh, they were looking for a caretaker for an Airbnb in Sedona, Arizona. And I wanted to come back to the desert because I love the desert. So ultimately I qualified and uh, on the day I was leaving, I got a notice that the house uh, had been sold. <laughs> but I, uh, I went anyway because uh, I spent a month there and uh, packed up the house for them. And uh, which with another short transition where I was supposed to caretake a uh, animal sanctuary, but the people got real goofy real quick. I ended up here at Melanie's and I agreed to paint and fix and change and whatever. I helped uh, bring this uh, whole property up to a syllable, which is now where um, it is. It's um, going on the market and uh, I was, uh, along with the other housemates, given a 30-day <laughs> Uh, notice. So here I am a year later and uh, within three weeks I uh, will be <clears throat> somewhere else. And I don't know where that somewhere is. And so part of all that preface was to let you know that uh, this whole last year and um, particularly these last six months, has really been about shifting um, from doing to being. And it's, um, I mean, in the last year, I only wrote like, uh, I don't know, three, four poems, uh, produced, I don't know, three videos, four videos. And it's not like I don't do anything. Um, it's just about what, when. But I really have no agenda. Nothing. I simply, I can sit now for, I've sat as long as six, eight, nine hours, just sitting in the sun, listening to birds, the breeze, just centering myself. I've had to do a lot of inventory at every schedule, not just on what I have or what I do, but who I'm being. Now, this has been quite an exercise, but a rewarding one. I got the opportunity, the privilege, 
to be pushed right out of my comfort zone. And it's been very humbling, uh, very awakening, and I'm still here. Now, I was, you know, being pretty prolific with my videos. A lot of people are asking me a lot of questions. Um, yeah, I drink my pee every morning. Uh, I'm perfectly healthy. I've gone, uh, actually, a month ago today would have been my third year anniversary of uh, discovering UT. And I haven't been on any meds for three years, and nothing, no aspirin, no nothing. My body's in really good shape. I'm really healthy. And uh, I've had to pretty much minimize it to just uh, drinking my morning pee overall. And I do use a spray bottle when I sit in the sun and I have aged urine and eucalyptus oil and uh, distilled water in there. And, uh, you know, so I coat my body. You know, I've been... Uh, really privileged to a lot of sunshine, which is uh, really healing. I just uh, really consume a lot of vitamin D and P. <laughs> and it works for me. So, yeah, I've been, um, <clears throat> I've been on a real journey. You know, and I started writing a story about 15 uh, months ago. And it's a pretty involved story. And I'm not going to tell you about the story. I'm just letting you know that I've been writing the story. And it, uh, I've been writing it for about 15 months. And I am going to publish it. It will be a book. But it's not finished. <laughs> and until it has, you know, a certain point where I consider it to be conclusive for this portion of my life. Um, that's all I'm going to say about it, but it's been transformative. It's been really um, healing. Uh, you know, here's the biggest question I had to ask myself is, you know, what happened to Casey Caban? Yeah, I created We Do, you know, he my stunt double, <laughs> and quite a uh, skyrocketing public persona. And somehow, Weedo just kind of took over. Um, and Casey Caban was getting kind of lost in translation somehow. But it's all good. What I really want to uh, share with you today is that I love you. And as I sit here in the temple, and you can see <laughs> I am in the temple. I built this thing last, uh, I think, September or October, something like that. Maybe November, I don't remember. But it's a uh, beautiful set. And what happened? You know, what happened? Well, I put We Do on pause. It was a conscious decision and a healthy choice. I needed to just be, do, have. I just needed to start living more without anything. No thing, nothing. It's very healing. I'd highly recommend it. <laughs> you know, what point do we stop, look, and listen, and take inventory? You know, of our mental, emotional, physical existence. I've had to ponder the meaning of life a lot. You know, I uh, question purpose. I've gone through a lot of gyrations. But I'm at peace. Big time, I'm at peace. And 
I'm always down with the now. When people ask me how I'm doing, I always respond anymore with, it's all good in my hood. It's all good in my hood. Because <laughs> it really is. I live in my temple. And I know it's all an inside job. Life isn't supposed to be easy, but it is simple. You can simplify your life. <clears throat> There's many ways that you can simplify your life and find peace within and let go. Just let go of shit. You know, how significant is your shit? That's an important question to ask the mirror. So, I'm just giving you this brief <laughs> little story so that you understand that uh, I'm all good. I am. And, uh, you know, no matter what, I'm still here. Ha, ha, ha. So... With all that being said, um, this is a new series because I stopped wandering and started wondering. And I've had a lot of thoughts on those wonders. As a matter of fact, I thought about creating this uh, idea over six months ago. It appeared to me when I was you know, in the one month at that uh, Airbnb here in Sedona, it just appeared to me. And I drafted a whole bunch of ideas, but it's taken me this long to finally understand what the meaning or the purpose or the inspiration or motive would be to actually produce it. So there it is. <laughs> so with all that being said, be at peace. Love yourself. And may I remind you. Boom! Ha ha ha, you just been loved. Ha <laughs> ha, bye now.